Hi everybody, this is Mr. Fowley, and welcome to Podcast 7.2. This is a big math unit, so make sure you have your periodic table, whoops, um, and a calculator ready. And we are going to talk about how we're going to have equivalencies that cancel. So the equivalencies we need to know is one mole equals 22.4 liters of gas, one mole equals 6.02 E23 particles, and remember particles are atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units, and one mole equals go to the periodic table in grams for mass. So let's start it. All right. So how many formula units of NaCl and 108.63 grams of NaCl? So I have 108.63 grams of NaCl. And what I'm going to do here is going to have an equivalency. So the top and the bottom are going to equal each other. And I know that I've got little g equals grams, and little g means go to the periodic table. So grams of Na, oops, not, na, 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 NaCl is one mole of NaCl. So again, these two are equal, and I go to the periodic table. So sodium is 22.99 when I go to the periodic table, and chlorine is 35.45. So that is 58.44 grams of NaCl. Now I'm trying to get into formula units. So remember, I'm always going to go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. So I'm in moles. Now I'm going to get out of moles, and I'm going to use another equivalency. Okay? So formula units, one mole equals 6.02 E23. And this is moles of NaCl, and I used formula units because it's an ionic compound. And I'm in formula units, which is what I want. Just to emphasize this, grams cancel, moles cancel, and I'm left with formula units. So 108.63 divided by 58.44 times 6.02 E23 is 1.12 E24. Well, actually, I've got five sig fig there starting out, so I should have five sig figs in my answer. One point 1190 1.1190 E24 formula units NaCl okay if you have 38.6 liters of nitrogen dioxide at STP how many grams do you have well nitrogen dioxide is nitrogen dioxide is O2 38.6 liters of NO2 and I'm trying to figure out grams, okay? Now I know I'm always going to go through moles, liters of NO2. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Here's an equivalency. One mole equals 22.4 liters. So I'm really multiplying by one, just changing the units, okay? So now I'm going to get rid of moles, hate you moles, and go into the unit that I they want, grams of NO2. So one mole is go to the periodic table. Nitrogen is 14.01. Two oxygens are 32. So that is 46.01. And I asked my calculator. 38.6 divided by 22.4 times 46.01 gives me 79.3 grams of NO2. So notice how we're always going to go through moles. It's a big converting thing. So, how many moles are in 84.6 grams of potassium iodide? So my first thought is, what is potassium iodide? Potassium is K. Iodide is I. K is plus one from the periodic table. I is minus one, so it is Ki. So I have 84.6 grams of Ki. Times dividing by I hate you grams of Ki. I'm going to put you on the bottom to cancel, and go to moles of Ki. One mole, one is always going to go with moles, and go to the periodic table. My periodic table says potassium is 39.10, and iodine is, I forgot, I should know, uh, 126.90. So, <laughs> add those two together, get 166 flat. And then notice it just says how many moles, so I'm done. So sometimes it's shorter and it's easier. 
and this is one of those times, 84.6 divided by 166 is 0 0.5096 moles, but I need three sig figs, so 0 0.510 moles of Ki. That's it. Which is larger, larger 46.3 liters of carbon dioxide or 46.3 grams of carbon dioxide? Now, if it says larger, larger would probably be volume or something like that, but I need to just convert them. So I want to convert them into something where they're roughly the same. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do first is show you how I would estimate it. Okay. So 43.6 liters. Remember, there's 22.4 liters in a mole. So that means if I divide it by 22.4, that is going to be roughly two moles. Okay? If I have 46, oops, 0.3 grams divided by, if I go to the periodic table for carbon dioxide, it's 44.01 divided by 44.01. 46 divided by 44 is roughly one. So which is larger? This many liters is larger. And um, if I have a comparison like that, you can show that I, um, estimation and go through it. And you should be able to do that and get better math sense. Now I'm going to do it for real because that's what most of you would have done. Um, liters of CO2 times dividing bar. I'm going to convert them both into moles. 22.4 um, liters is one mole. Uh, CO2 for both of these. You do want to put down what type it is because the next chapter we're going to use that's going to matter. It's going to get confusing for it is. And yes, it does cost you points. So 46.3 divided by 22.4 is 2.07 moles CO2 and 46.3 grams of CO2 times dividing bar grams of CO2 moles of CO2. Number one always goes with moles. And little g stands for go to the periodic table. 46.3 divided by 44.01 is 1.05 moles of CO2. Which is larger, 3,500 formula units of KOH or 0 0.035 grams of KOH. So again, to emphasize this estimation, a little number sense for it, 3,500 formula units, to turn that into moles, basically what I'm going to do is, I'll set it up for you, 6.02E23 formula units of KOH. Oh, that was a bad choice. And one mole of KOH. Now if I do this, this number is going to be itty bitty 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 like e negative 22 or so okay if i do 0 0.035 grams of koh you might go oh that's small but i'm going to divide it by potassium is 39.10 oxygen is 16 hydrogen is 1.01 .01. so i'm going to divide it by roughly 56 And that's going to be, you know, E negative 3-ish. Okay? So you should be able to do these estimations with these things to go through it. And let's put a real number in there. 39.10 plus 16 plus 1.01 is 56.11. Shame on me for needing that. So 3,500 divided by 6.02 E23 is 5.81 E negative 21 formula units. Oops, that's not a formula unit, that's a mole. Mole of KOH. Yeah, it's within a power of 10. 0 0.035 divided by 56.11. Now realize this means 0 0.0000 with 21 O's in there, right? This one is going to be 6.24 E negative 4 moles of KOH. So this one, which is larger, that's larger, which means that is larger. Estimate which is larger. 3.01 E 23 atoms of gold or one pound of gold? Well, one pound of gold is about, remember, one pound 
is about a half a kilogram. Okay, half a kilogram is about 500 grams. Okay, 3.01 E23 is about half a mole because 6.02 E23 equals one mole. Okay, so 500 grams, so this is going to be one mole. 500 grams, now if I go to the periodic table and find out how big, what the molar mass of gold is, because I'll admit I know it's pretty big, but I don't know how big. It's 196.97. So 500 divided by about 200 is about two and a half moles. Okay, so that's two and a half moles of gold. So that means one pound of gold is two and a half moles. This is half a mole. One pound is bigger. Okay. So if I have 50 liters of laughing gas, notice I don't know the formula for laughing gas, but it doesn't matter. 6.02 E23 molecules of laughing gas is one mole. 50 liters of laughing gas would be 50 liters, and to get it into moles, called LG. Liters of LG, right? One mole of LG. And I would hope you're going to get better where this will be. Something that will make a little more sense to you. Oh, no. Don't go out on me now. And that would be about um, two. So 50 liters would be bigger. Oh, how I hope this will actually change slides for me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Well, we'll just call this the end and say, toodles. This was our last slide anyway. Bye.